Hey guys, Roger Revere here, and I made this review a long time ago. Uh, I had to return it, and I list the problems with it in the video. Uh, main problem was just it didn't have too much memory. But go ahead and take a look at this video, because um, I think you might like it, and it might influence your decision whether or not you want to get it. So, uh, enjoy. Take care. Hey guys, um, I'm here with the HTC Wildfire S for Virgin Mobile. Sorry, I haven't been able to, you know, record anything in so long. I've been busy with college essays and stuff for senior year. But I picked this up last Sunday, when the day it came out. And uh, I'm about here to give you a review of it. Um, I got a 320 uh, by 480 screen. Um, here you got four capacitive buttons. Down here you've got a lanyard and a micro or lanyard holder thing. Microphone port. Here you've got your earpiece speaker, and in there is actually a um, LED notification light, and it blinks green. There's a up oh, there it is. All right, so there's that, and then um, volume rocker, mini USB on the back, five megapixel camera, loudspeaker, LED flash, which is nice and bright. Logo it says with HTC Sense. Up here you got a 3.5 millimeter head jack. A uh, power button. Nice device, real skinny. Put that next to the uh, Samsung Intercept. And there obviously is a big difference because one has a keyboard and one does not. You can see there. Alright, so um, there's that. Man, Intercept. And this, uh, this has Gorilla Glass, so any scratches you're seeing it's because of the screen protector. Alright, here it has Gorilla Glass. Gorilla Glass. So, um, here's the screen. It's, uh, it's really a great looking screen. And the pictures and images look real nice. It's got, it's, it's really smooth for, uh, 600 megahertz here. And, uh, oh, my girlfriend texted there. Um, and, uh, it's got all the, uh, things of HTC Sense 2.1. So, that includes the weather widget here, which I can, uh, I turn on for you and show. And then I'll start snowing on the screen, which is really cool. Looks great in person. Looks much better in person. Uh, so that's definitely cool. Goes away as soon as you touch the screen. Um, battery percent battery thing is pretty good. You got 74 percent here. Get battery usage. You can see it was last charged to 100 percent six hours and six minutes ago so pretty good stuff for that um, isn't the best battery though I've noticed in real time usage bad service areas and bad stuff like that it can hamper your battery I've got mobile data turned on one cool thing about HTC Sense is you can turn off the Wi-Fi mobile, mobile Bluetooth GPS and all settings here I'm gonna go and flip that off there. Alrighty, um, LED flash, nice and bright. You can see there, lit everything up here. Look at that. Turn it around for you. And whoo, there you go. Sorry about that. That is a pretty darn bright flashlight. Let's see if we turn this on here, you can see it. Display is relatively good. Lights up the entire basement if it's pitch black and whatnot. Takes good pictures in the dark as well. Uh, speaking of pictures, let's hop into the camera here. Um, it's got a 5 megapixel camera, so the pictures look pretty good. Um, you can, uh, and I can show you, it takes only a second for the picture. And there, you saw the flash work itself there. So, if it's a non flash setting though, like here, you can see it takes the picture much quicker. Right there. Not as good as the iPhone, but uh, pretty darn close, I guess, for a budget phone. Um, Alright, so, let's see here. Let's pop into the settings. Oh. Yeah, um, let's pop into the settings here. We've got... Right, sorry guys. Oof, been a while since I've been back. Software info, and you can see Android 2.3.4. HTC Sense 2.1. Alright. Um, now, one thing that really bothered me was phone storage. It has 150 megabytes of free storage 
and it says 150 but um there really isn't because all the HTC bloatware and I don't know Virgin Mobile whatnot takes up most of the room on this phone so um, I can go show you the uh, let's go up here I think this has it and you can see phone only I I have barely anything on here I've got kilobytes kilobyte 1.0 megabyte couple megabytes here 10, 5, 3, that's it. And my phone has 15 megabytes of storage. That's ridiculously stupid. So nothing else is movable. There you go. That's one perk of having a small phone. You can drop it easily. This phone's really small, and it hasn't slipped. That's the first time it slipped. But I wouldn't be too worried about it falling. Uh, at first, the 600 megahertz processor kind of scared me, because you know I don't know how good it'd be. But look at that, works real well. Um, one thing I have noticed under gallery, which will take more time loading. Here I can show you. There's the gallery. Looks like that. Here's a picture from the actual phone. Yeah, well, and um, most of these are. Some of these aren't though. Those are from. Those are from earlier. And uh, those are from my Canon. I just have them on here. Um, here, here's the picture in my background, and uh, you can see multi-touch works really well. Um, you can zoom in there. One thing though is the 600 megahertz processor takes a little bit of time when you're zooming in on a high-end quality uh, picture. It'll take some time. So here, for example. Let's see. Um, all right, so here's a picture that I took with this camera, the Canon. And uh, if I try to zoom in here, so you can see pixelation occurs for a while, and then I'll clear up and fine tune. But other than that, you know, not the greatest thing in the world. So, but I mean that's okay. Uh, it works well, and it does what it's supposed to. I using a friend stream, you can update your Twitter, your Facebook. Um, the keyboard that comes with the device isn't that good. Uh, I didn't like it at all, but it does come with swipe, but I mean, I used gingerbread keyboard I downloaded. The one that comes stock is touch input. Kind of reminded me of Swift key, but it wasn't. It was kind of a, I don't know, I want to say a fluke, but it wasn't as, I didn't really like it that much. i go ahead and change that back before I forget. Alright. And, um... The mail application looks pretty good, so the HTC Sense application here. And um, let's see, I use GoSMS Pro to, uh, you know, re, um, do my messages over the standard message app. I can show you the uh, standard message app here, and uh, there's that. And, uh, yeah, uh, the, uh, sound settings for this phone, they're nice, smooth, um, yeah, so, I don't know what I'm going to do with the phone internal storage, if that tends to become too much of a problem, I'm going to have to, unfortunately, return this phone, and I'll wait for the LG Optimus Black, which they renamed, I think, I heard, I don't know, for sure. And I guess I'll have to pick that up unless they have a better device. Um, I do not want to pick up the slider because it reminds me too much of the Intercept. And I kind of just want an all-touch phone. And this phone was actually perfect despite its screen size was a little small. It was easy to get used to. I got used to it pretty quickly. Um, but, you know, the internal storage, that's a big problem for this phone. So hopefully we can have something to fix it. I don't know of any roots yet, but uh, let's hope for the best. Picked it up from Best Buy for $199. 99 Total is 209 with tax, so go ahead and check it out and see if um, you guys want it. I mean, if you're not too big of downloading stuff, I think this one is perfect for you. Uh, it's just a nicer version of the LG Optimus, basically. Got the flash, a couple nicer specs. I haven't used the LG Optimus, but, um, you know, this is a this is a nice little device, so if you guys would like to pick it up, definitely go for it. 
Um, and uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, alright? Talk to you guys later. Bye.